are our three powerful top tips in the networking room how you can ask for a coffee. Now you need to do your homework first. You have to have a very good idea of who your client is, why business owners decide to say, I want to hire your services. And the most important thing, you need to understand their needs and wants and what their problems are. In order for you to win a coffee meeting, you have to be able to demonstrate you can solve a problem. And this is an excellent asset to be remembered at the networking event. When you follow up after the networking event, the new delegate will remember you. In the networking room, you have to start by listening to keywords. And those keywords will be the formula of the client characteristic that you have already made. So you need to build that one sheet, next module actually, uh, transcribe, next model, uh, I'm breaking here, next model is for uh, uh, a one sheet on who is your client. You need to be already prepared who your client is. Why? When you're at that networking event and you're having those conversations, those keywords are going to remind you either a yes or no, is this my client? When you get the yes indicators, it's important then to ask some qualifying networking conversations. The most obvious and easiest question to ask that is indirect but can be informal what current challenges are you facing in your business? That is your winning question. And it has to be an open-ended question for you to determine whether or not you want to have a coffee with this delegate. Now, when you hear this question, it's very easy to get excited, especially if you know this is the delegate that meets the characteristics of your client. Because at this moment, it's very easy to want to sell yourself a bit more, to show the delegate I'm up for the job. And this is one of the biggest mistakes a lot of business professionals make in networking. We have two ears and one mouth. And at this point of the networking conversation, you need to listen more than you speak. A reminder is, save that part of conversations you are excited to share about how great your business is or how great your business service is to help them with your problems for the coffee meeting and that will be detailed in the next module. Your reply simply should be step two, nod your head and smile and listen intently. A successful networker knows how to listen and an excellent networker shows that they're listening. So body language at this moment is highly important. You may not realize it, but your movement and body language is creating likability and creating a new relationship. The other delegate choice of saying yes or no, that they will have a coffee with you will be determined by their trust in you, their likability, and your business image. The business image module will be later in the program. Allow the delegate to continue talking and do not interrupt. Be patient. I know it's hard that you want to interject, but allow the delegate to answer your question because you've actually asked them a question, which is an open-ended question, to let them tell you what their current business challenges are. At the end of their answer, 
This is your opportunity to communicate to the delegate, I would love to learn more. I would really, I do not want to eat any more of your networking time because I'm sure you're eager to work the room. However, when you are next free, I would love to arrange a coffee with you. I normally have my coffee meetings at X, Y location, which is convenient for you. And that is the winning, that is the winning communication and the winning formula on how you ask the delegate for a coffee. The delegate will either reply a yes or a no. Your reply should be, at this point, let's exchange business cards and I will follow up with you.